For our next unit, we're going to look at probability. So this video is just kind of going to give us an introduction to probability. Um, got a lot of vocab in there, so if you want to, you might want to jot this down just so that you can refer back to it in your notes. So first we have a sort of definition of probability. Um, this isn't an actual definition, but one way of thinking of it is what you want divided by the total number of outcomes. So it's always what you want on top of your fraction, and then on the bottom is the total number of possibilities that you could have. Okay, sample space is a collection of all possible outcomes of a chance experiment. So, for example, rolling a die. If we roll a six-sided die, we have the options one, two, three, four, five, and six. So our total sample space is all six of those options. And we'll write it in this little curly brackets, just noting our sample space. A tree diagram is a method of listing the sample space, so you're, it's just a way of writing out all the possibilities. So for this one, Bob has three shirts, two pairs of pants, and two pairs of shoes. We want to make a tree diagram. So uh, we all start from the same one, and if he chooses his shirts first, you know, you have option one, two, and three. And then from each of those shirts, you have two pairs of pants to go with it. So we can call those uh, maybe A and B. And then, once he has the pants, he's got two pairs of shoes. Uh, so maybe we'll call those P and Q. And each pair of pants gets those. So this last branch of our tree diagram is all the possible outcomes. So you can kind of read it going up. If he chooses P shoes, right, with A shirt or pants and number one shirt, right, that's one possible out outfit. Then you've got Q shoes with A pants and one shirt. Right, so then this particular scenario has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 total possibilities. An event is any collection of outcomes from the sample space. So instead of just rolling a die, now we're rolling a prime number on that die. So the prime numbers are 2, 3, and 5. The complement is all the outcomes that are not in the event. So not rolling an even number, which our even numbers are 2, 4, and 6. So not rolling an even number leaves you with 1, 3, and 5. It's not always the opposite. Okay, In this case, even if it's not even, that means it's got to be odd, but it's not always the opposite. It's just not whatever the event is. A union is... Um, a or B happening, so you're not being very picky it's as long as either or happens. So it consists of all the outcomes that are at least in one of the two events. So rolling a prime number or an even number. So our primes were 2, 3, and 5, and our evens were 2, 4, and 6. Right? So all of these are our options, but we're not going to include 2 twice. So we would just say 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so union is or, and the symbol we use for that is a U kind of a capital U, which you'll see later on. Intersection is the event A and B happening. So now we're being picky. It can't be either or. It's got to be both. So in this case, if I draw a red card and a two, I have the two of hearts and the two of diamonds. That's the only part of the intersection. The way we label an intersection is an upside down U. Here's a deck of cards. you got to get familiar with a deck of cards. You're not going to be given this. You have to make sure that you are aware of what a deck of cards consists of. So we have four suits, okay, and that's each of these rows is a suit. You have your clubs, your diamonds, your hearts, and your spades. Each suit has 13 cards. We have an ace, and then two through ten, and then jack, queen, and king. Jack, queen, and king, these are what we call face cards. All right, we have two black suits and two red suits. All right, make sure you are aware of what is in a deck of cards. You have to know this. So a couple of examples. We want to find the probability of rolling a four. Well, a four is one number, all right? So that's one that I'm working with out of my six possible choices. So the probability of rolling a four is one out of six. Drawing a queen. Each of my four suits has a queen. So there are four queens in my deck of 52 cards. And then I can simplify this, 4 over 52, to 1 out of 13. Drawing a red card, remember there are two suits that are red, so that's 26 cards 
out of the 52, and I can simplify that to 1 half. Rolling an even, my evens are 2, 4, and 6, so that's 3 out of the possible 6. So that's 3 out of 6, which is 1 half. And then flipping a heads on a coin. So you have heads and you have tails. So heads is one option out of two possible options. Right? And then sometimes if we have to write it out, sometimes you would say the probability of rolling a 4 equals 1 out of 6. So you have something in parentheses. Or the probability of a queen equals 1 out of 13. That's just more for notation purposes. But that's the general idea of probability. It's what you want divided by the total number of possibilities that you can have.